What's up, badass nerds? My two best friends got me some all-natural vegan blush makeup for Christmas, so I'm gonna fuck with it. One, two, one, two, three, four. My best friend was asking me about vegan products before Christmas, and I pretty much assumed it was for me, and I told her about Lush makeup because I've always wanted to try it. Um, and she actually got me a bunch. I forgot that I asked her for it. It was like super awesome surprise, even though I should have known I was getting it, but my memory shot. Um, so I have almost a full face of makeup, uh, minus like eyeshadow, and I want to test it all out. I'm very excited about this. Um, now, this makeup is all natural and it's vegan, so I'm not going to have impossible standards like most YouTubers and beauty gurus have. I understand that there's just so much you can do when it's all natural and when there's no chemicals involved. So I'm not going to be a psycho about it. You know? So, uh, I'm going to have to mix in some of my own products because I don't have 100% full face. But, here's what I do have. Magical Morning Primer. We have Emotional Brilliance translucent face powder. We have Charisma. It says it's a face, a skin tint. Um, you're supposed to mix it with your foundation, but this is 100% bronzer. If I mix this with my foundation and put it all over my face, it would be offensive. T feeling younger. This also says skin tint, but this is 100% a cream liquid highlighter. Independent liquid eyeliner. Eyes Bright Mascara. First up, we've got the primer. It's much thicker than I had anticipated it being. It smells really like strong soap. Uh, like really floral strong soap. It's not my favorite thing. Oh. Ooh. It's not as thick as I uh, had anticipated, which is nice. I thought it was like going to be cakey and weird. But that smell is like overbearing. It like melts when it comes in contact with like the heat of my face. But it's like, I don't know. It's not the greatest. But again, I realize it's all natural. For all natural, I mean, it feels pretty okay. So the primer is a little bit greasy. It doesn't really dry down at all. But it could be worse. Most things could. Um, I do not have any Lush concealer. So I'm using my Bella Marie Blemish Concealer in Light Rose. Um, I'll be right back. Okay. Alright, I got my concealer on. I really only put it um, under my eyes. So, there's that. And I'm gonna try out this translucent powder slash possible foundation. 
I don't know how it could be foundation. Like, nobody's skin is this pink. So, I don't know. Let's just... It's not really color on my face, so... It must just be translucent powder. Even though it's pink AF. I don't know how anybody... Like, how does per the person with darker skin wear this? It's pink! I'm not really sure how to use translucent powder, because I never use it. Um, so, I think it's just to mattify the concealer I put on. I don't know. Like, I'm so confused. But that's generally my state of being. Confused. AF. I mean... It definitely, like, dried down my concealer, I guess. Uh, putting foundation on top of this seems pointless. So, we're gonna skip foundation, I guess. So, yeah. Yeah, it definitely, like, mattified my concealer, which is helpful for people that use a lot of concealer and use liquid foundation, I guess. So that works. Thumbs up. Ooh, yeah, that's a spot. I like the way you work my booty now. Since I'm not putting on foundation, the next step is bronzer. So here's the charisma. It's this like shiny coppery cream bronzer. I keep saying bronzer because I'm blonde. And you're bronzer. <sighs> this doesn't really have a smell. Oop. Not bad. Alright, so, I do, am not accustomed to using cream bronzer, so, uh, bear with me. percent on this I'll take a brush like and please blend it so horrible. I like it okay. It's honestly not the worst. We might be able to just chalk it up to user error since I don't use cream bronzer slash contour. Um, I might have put too much on. Too little. I don't know. I'm just trying to live my, my life, man. I'm just, I'm just trying to live my life. I don't know why, but my face is starting to itch. It can't be good, right? Right? I 
I actually like it on my forehead, but um, it's not working for the nose or the cheeks. Again, it's probably user error. Cause I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I ran what was left of the translucent powder on my brush over the spots where I put bronzer. I don't know, I thought it might help. I don't think it did though. Now, for the Feeling Younger highlight, this stuff looks gorgeous. Look at that. It's just this big pot of beautiful glowing goodness. The bottle's cracked all the way down. Don't know how that happened. Happened. Alright. Do a dollop of Daisy. put this in my highlight spots. Oh, I think that was too much. Milk mustache. looks like a bunch of you-know-what on my face. And if you don't know what, you're too young to know. I'm gonna take my elf highlight brush and blend this shit in. I really like this. It gives like that cute streak of shine. It's very reflective. And it will go with everything because it's like white. It's gorgeous. Look, look at that shine. Pop. 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 I don't know. Yeah, but this is like an A plus. Fucking A plus, man. Now for the eye stuff. We've got the independent black eyeliner. I usually wear uh, eyeshadow whenever I wear eyeliner. So this test might not be totally like proving the product because when I do it with eyeshadow it might be different but I don't feel like putting an eyeshadow so okay ooh that's not bad so far Alright, this is definitely a user error, so that doesn't count. Alright, I almost never do a wing, because I don't know how. And this is why I never do it. I think I'm used to, like, having a eyeliner pen. And my hand isn't used to like this small thing, but the color is great. Like, it's not splotchy coloring, it's very black. And uh, the formula seems pretty legit.
this is how I normally wear it. No frills, no trying to do this. So, um, I'm pleasantly surprised by this. Uh, it's messy because I'm messy. But it's like really nice and dark and great. I got it in my eye. It's in my eye. I'm gonna die. Oh. Who needs black contacts when you're a moron? You know what I mean? So, let's try out the mascara. It's Eyes Right. I thought it was Eyes Bright before, but it's right, not bright. Okay. So far, not horrible. I'm getting this all over too, but again, I'm just really shitty tonight at everything, and I don't know why. That's actually really nice. Yes, I know it's messy as hell, but, like, that mascara is actually pretty legit. I did not expect that. I didn't expect anything real bad, but I didn't expect anything this good. I don't know how beauty gurus can bitch about shit like this. Like, this is all natural, and it still fucking works. Like, what are you bitching about? That's real nice. This eye is a better depiction of what my makeup would look like. This is trash, obviously. But, um, yeah, I really am pleasantly surprised with a lot of this stuff. I never really, I guess. I thought it wasn't going to be great because of the videos I've seen, but like, the stuff is pretty legit. So if I had to give letter grades to them, um, I don't know anything about translucent face powder, so I'm not gonna give that a grade because I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to that. So that gets a pass. The Magical Morning of Primer. Uh, I'm gonna give like a B plus, I guess. Um, just points off for the smell. But everything else was about it was okay. Um, as for the Charisma bronzer, I would give that like a B minus. Um, it's it looks pretty good. I mean. But, uh, it's not great. Everything could be better though, right? Um, the highlighter, I'm giving an A+. This shit is awesome. It's called Feeling Younger. I highly recommend this. Um, it's just, like, fucking popping. I've never had a highlighter this good. Which leads me to believe that I buy trash. <sighs> oh well. Um, the liquid eyeliner, I would give like an A minus. Points off for just the applicator because it's kind of hard to manipulate. Uh, but other than that, it's awesome. And the mascara, I mean, I don't want to give it a perfect grade. Perfect grade is, um, designated for the highlighter, but I guess I'll just give it an A-. I mean, I don't really know what to complain about. <laughs> I just don't want to give it a perfect score. Because I'm fucking petty, bitch. I'm very pleasantly surprised with this stuff. 
that was that. I was looking forward to doing this, and I did it, and I'm happy. So, I, I, I don't, um, I don't know. Let me know if you use Lush makeup and which products you use and whether or not I should try them because I, I really am just blown away. That's all I got. Um, like this video if you liked it. Comment down below the Lush makeup you use so I can try it. And share this video with your friends and subscribe and shit. Um, Happy 2019. Don't know when this video will go up, but it'll go up in 2019. So, yeah. New year, new you. If you want, if you don't want to change, then don't. I ain't your mama. Uh, keep being badass. Keep being nerdy. Much love and peace out, y'all.